Hello, Hello, Jorge. Hello, Dennis. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? Good? Fine. I'm fine. fine. Okay, perfect. Glad to hear that. Perfect. Are you ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay. wonderful. Yes, yes. Perfect. I'm glad to hear that, people. Hello, Lester. Hello, William. Okay, we're going to start right now. Hello, Marielos. Okay, teacher. It's raining. It's raining. I know it's raining a lot. It's raining cats and dogs. Okay, so, ah, uh, está lloviendo. Fuerte. It's raining cats and dogs. Así vamos a decir siempre. Cuando estoy viendo fuerte, ¿ok? It's raining okay. cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Como que dijeran en español, se llaman sapos y ranas, right? It's raining cats and dogs. Very good. So, first, before we start the class, estoy esperando que se conecten un par más porque tengo un pequeño comercial que hacerles, ¿ok? Good night, teacher. Good night, Marielos. How are you today? Good, teacher. Perfect. Glad to hear that. Hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay. Ya tengo tres, seis, siete, ocho aquí. Very good. Vamos, primero quería hacer un, un, un pequeñito um, anuncio. No sé, eh, me, me encargaron la administración de inglés corporativo que les pregunté, bueno, que se habían recibido un correo acerca del siguiente curso. Si han recibido un correo acerca del siguiente curso y tienen dudas eh, sobre ese curso, me tienen que avisar a mí. Yo no les puedo proporcionar como toda la información del curso, pero los puedo dirigir con la persona correcta. Entonces, si tienen más dudas, les puedo dar el contacto directo de la persona que está a cargo para que ellos les se comuniquen con ustedes. Porque les, acá, les enviaron un correo eh, esta semana. Empezaron a enviar los correos el sábado, sábado, domingo y ayer. Y están siguiendo con esta semana. Si no tienen su mensaje de inglés corporativo en el buzón de entrada, Pueden revisarlo en spam o junk mail o trash, parece que se llama en MSN, para que lo revisen, ¿verdad? Y si tienen alguna duda, me dejan un mensaje en WhatsApp eh, individual para cada quien, para saber quién me está hablando con su nombre y la duda que tiene, y así yo lo dirijo al compañero administrativo para que les ayude, ¿ok? Ok, Ok, teacher. Ok, perfect. Hasta el momento solo hay una persona que sé que ha recibido el correo. ¿Los otros han recibido algo en su correo electrónico? Sí, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, perfecto. Yes, si surgen preguntas o tienen más preguntas al respecto, no duden en contactarme, así yo lo dirijo con el, el, el administrativo. Ok, el coordinador. Ok, perfect. Do you have a question about that? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de eso? No, yo tengo varias no, teacher, teacher. pero eh, es en relación porque yo estoy hablando con Jonathan, uh -huh. pero eh, pues porque nos hicieron llegar toda la información primero a través de WhatsApp y no nos habían informado de parte de la empresa cómo iba a ser el nuevo mecanismo. Entonces, pero ya Jonathan me escribió, solo tengo <coughs> quizás hacia usted una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, el curso lo seguiríamos con usted. Mm, no, en el siguiente fíjese, nivel. Fíjese que no sé, porque el, el, el jefe solo nos dijo que íbamos a seguir con los cursos, pero usualmente lo, lo, los cambian. 
pero ya okay. eh, no, no estaría muy segura si nos van a dejar con los mismos estudiantes. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Ellos nos informan a través, igual que ustedes, a través de correo electrónico. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí. Gracias, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Uh, so, let's start right with the class. Si, si no tienen alguna otra pregunta, eh, vamos a comenzar para... para para ver un poquito de section 4 and section 5. Section 4 and section 5, it's mm, like almost the same, right? Almost the same. Todo se relaciona con el pasado simple. Right? So I want you to, uh, today, yo voy a hablar un poquito más que de costumbre, que lo que ustedes hablan, right? But I need you to pay attention. I need you to ask questions. Okay? Cada vez que yo explique algo, me voy a parar y voy a hacerle o sea, si tienen alguna pregunta, no duden en preguntarme. So, we make sure everything, everything, everything is clear, right? Entonces, vamos a ir por partes, por poquitos. Si tienen una pregunta, no tengan pena y me pregunten, ¿ok? So, we go with this part. We go with simple past, right? This week we're going to work with simple past. Simple past is uh, to describe or to talk about an action that happened at a specific time in the past. So if we look at the picture, right? If we look at the picture here, right? If we say now, now is at this moment, right? It's going to be today, Tuesday, right? But when we say past, we are going back, right? Is that we're, we're going back. So we can say yesterday or one hour ago or three days ago, last year. Those are the words that we're going to use to say a specific time, right? So we have an example here. And the example says, Michael jogged yesterday, right? So what is the action here? The action here is jog. What is this specific time? This specific time is yesterday, right? That's what we're doing. We're focusing right now on everything, everything, all the activities, all the actions that we did in the past, right? Before this time. We have another example. Michael jogged last night, right? It's another example. We have another specific time or other specific time to talk about, right? Is this the part clear for the moment? This is like the generalidad. Is this clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes. okay, very good. For cada cosita que hagamos, le voy a estar enviando a, al WhatsApp las imágenes, okay? Ahorita quiero que me pongan atención. Very good. Give me one second. We start here. This is the first one. Now, in here, right, with the simple past, what I hit go here, we're going to work with the structures, right? In the structure that we have with simple past, we also have this. Did you watch the videos on, on the portal, on the website? On the website, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, perfect. On the website, they explain this, right? And the main difference that we're going to see here, right, on the website about this is the simple past statements. We have subject, verb, complement, right? That's what we have subject, auxiliary, verb in base form, and complement, right? That's what we have. The main differences, right? Las, como que las diferencias principales, the main differences about this are going to be the auxiliary did and the spelling. Look at the spelling of the verbs, right? That's what we're going to pay attention to, right? The, spell, the auxiliary and the spelling, right? That's what we need to pay attention to. Esos son como lo más principal que tenemos que ponerle atención en el simple past, right? 
Now, if you remember in a simple present, in simple present, we actually work with, like we separate, we divide, I, you, we, they, he, she, it, right? Se recuerdan que hacemos esa diferencia. Separamos, right? But in simple past, everything is together, right? Everything is together. So we have all of the subject pronouns are used in the same way. Miren acá, no hay ninguna diferencia. Todos, todos, todos son usados de la misma forma, right? So we need to pay attention to that too. Right. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's, let's continue then. Recuerden, si tienen preguntas, me dicen, stop, Sylvia. Right? I have a question. Right? Now, we continue here with the second part. In the second part, we're going to see three ways. We're going to start with the affirmative form. Right, this part. With the affirmative, well, in the in the simple past, we are going to see right regular verbs and irregular verbs. We have two types of verbs here, right? So in the affirmative form, we have the subject and the verb, right? This verb usually the ending of the verb can be ed, it can be d, or ied, right? Los verbos regulares son un poquito más complicados, right? Y la terminación de estos verbos puede ser ed, d, or ied. That's what we have. And then we have the verb right here. The irregular verb. The irregular verb is totally different, right? The spelling changes, right? Because this verb, went, is equal go. Todo el verbo cambió. Todo el spelling del verbo cambia, right? It's not the same. We have went, is the past tense of go, right? That's what we have. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good, very good. So then we have this. For example, if I have the verb with me, if I have this verb, I have the verb run, right? The past tense of this will be run. If I have this, the spelling changes, right? And if I have, for example, this, watch and the password is going to be watched tell me which verb is regular cual de los dos es regular which of Wrong. them is regular watch 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 watch, watch. 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 okay very good so watch is going to be the verb that we need right now as a regular verb right and run, past tense is run, that will be irregular. Okay. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, Tenemos dos tipos de verbos. We have two types of verbs, right? And that will be the part in which we work with affirmative forms. Right? Yes. Uh, I have a question. Yes. How okay. I can differentiate well, diferenciar de un verbo irregular a de uno regular. Uh, that's what we're going to do right now, right? Okay. Basically, Lester, the difference is the spelling, right? El spelling, de ca el, el la forma de escribir cada uno de los verbos es la diferencia, right? If we take a look at the picture that I just sent you, in the picture, you can see, right, that we have the regular verse, all of them, they have different endings, right? En la, en la imagen que les acabo de enviar, pueden ver que los verbos regulares, todos terminan con ed, d, or ied, right? Ese es, ese es el final de cada uno de los verbos. Todos los regulares. Tienen tres tipos de, de, de las tres formas principales en que las van a terminar. 
¿ok? En pasado, cambio, en, todo es, ahorita es todo pasado, exacto, todo pasado. En cambio, los verbos irregulares, su escritura o la forma en que se escribe es la que cambia. That's the difference. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo go. That's the base form. Esa es la forma base, go. But, in simple past, it changes to went. Right? That's totally different. Ya nada que ver. Right? Si ustedes no saben nada de inglés, van a decir, esa es otra palabra. Right? And it's only a different tense. Es solamente otro tiempo en el cual va, que, que van a utilizar para describir una acción que pasó en un tiempo específico en el pasado. Right? Do you have questions? Lester? ¿Le respondí la pregunta? Lester, más o menos. Sí, teacher. Gracias. Hi, okay. teacher. Hi, Samuel. Hi, teacher. So now we go with the negative form. Right. In the negative form, in the negative form here, we have one new thing. Right. The first new thing that we're going to notice in the negative form is the use of didn't. This is an auxiliary. Este es un auxiliar. ¿Qué pueden notar de diferente aparte de didn't entre esta y esta oración? Entre el afirmativo y el negativo. He left y didn't leave. El, 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 el verbo vuelve a pasar a, a, la, a, la, <risa> yeah, a la forma normal. Exactly. No a la forma presente, a la forma normal. Right? Very good. A la forma normal, a la forma base. Very good. So if you look at this, this go is the same. This live is the same. So that means that if you see a sentence that it has didn't or did, that is the past tense. Right? Este es como nuestro logo principal para decir, ah, it's past. Right? Did equals past tense, right? That's what we need to think all the time, right? And as Dennis said, right, if we have the auxiliary didn't, right, we need to put the verb in the base form, okay? No en la forma presente, porque en la forma presente, con he tendríamos que cambiarlo a goes, and that's not, right? Sí, me Okay. No, está bien, está bien. Dijo la forma real y eso es lo correcto. Okay, very good. Now, we have this, right, for the negative form. Right, so if I have, for example, this, if I have, I'm going to write one example here. I ate pupusas last night. Okay, this is the example. I ate pupusas last night, right? That's okay. affirmative. Now, if I have, when you say I ate pupusas, right? I want to write this sentence in the negative form. What would be the best way to put it here? What would be the best option? Uh, maybe. I didn't eat pupusas. It didn't eat. I didn't I, eat pupusas last night. Very good. I didn't eat pupusas last night. Very good. Last night. That's what we need to do. Right? And is this verb regular or irregular? Eight. Irregular. 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 It's an irregular verb. Very good. Teacher, I'll so, get at the end. What? Me falta la de a didn't. I didn't eat, okay, thank you. I didn't eat pupusas last night, right? Then we have here one example, negative form and affirmative form with irregular verbs, right? Okay. Then we have this. Now let's talk about questions, right? Let's talk about questions. Let's see here. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. En el complemento siempre tenemos que describir el tiempo 
pasado en el que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, como, en el, como lo que acaba de escribir, que last dice night. Last, last Night. Ajá. Eh, ¿Es necesario escribir eso o, o podemos obviarlo y solamente usar el verbo en pasado? To be more specific, it's better if you put more information. So ah, people okay. can understand better, right? Oh, okay. But, okay. but, but if it's ah. something that is understood, for example, if I say, mm, let me give you an example. Okay. Si ya, si ya lo dijeron, por ejemplo, están describiendo una situación. And I will say this. I, right. I graduated from the university last year, right? And then here I have pretty much, I have the, the specific time, right? I graduated from the university last year. I graduated Sorry. From, I don't know, psychology. Right? So here, you already mentioned last year. So here, you could say again last year, but we are not going to use it because it will be repetitive. Right? En esta, en esta ocasión, okay. ya no lo necesitamos. Right? Sería okay. totalmente opcional. Right? Okay. Here, because we already said, ah, she's talking about last year, right? You don't have to repeat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. But when something, so, uh -huh. but when someone asks me whatever thing is needed to complete the, the conversation with, con el tiempo anterior. For example, if I ask you, right, we're going uh -huh. to see questions. Um, William. Did you do, right, or did you cook chicken, sorry, last night? That's, that's the question, right? And what is, what is the specific time last night? What would be your answer? Last night. I cook, you can say yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Yes, I did. I cook. Okay. I cook um, fried chicken. Okay. Okay. Am I repeating the phrase last night here? No. No, right? Because the other person already said that. They were very specific. Okay. Right? But okay. if okay. It, it will depend on the context, William. It will depend on the context. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Very good questions. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So here we go. Here we go with questions. If you look at this, we were making questions, right? And with questions, the only thing that we're going to do is that we're going to put did at the beginning of the question. That's the auxiliary that we're going to use. Right. So did. And then we're going to have the subject plus the verb in base form plus the complement plus question mark. That's what we're gonna do, right? That will be the option for questions. So if I have this and I follow this, I can say, um, did did you did you complete your homework uh, yesterday? Hmm. We have auxiliary subject verb complement, and we also have the question mark, right? That will be for questions, right? Is this part clear? Como creamos las, las preguntas? Yes. Okay, do you have a question? 
Everyone else? No teacher. No? Todo, no. todo claro como lo chata? Ok. Yo le estoy creyendo que no tienen preguntas. Ya le voy a poner ejercicio. Vamos a ver. All right. We have that. Now, once we do that, right, we're going to work here and I need you to take a look at this. We're going to create more examples. One second. Look at these formulas. This is what we're going to do. Can you see my computer? Yes. Yes, okay, very good, very good. So I have the formulas here. For the affirmative form, I have subject plus verb in past plus complement, right? This verb, in past can be regular or irregular. Puede ser cualquier tipo de verbo, regular o irregular, right? Then I have negative. I have subject plus did plus not plus very base form plus complement. And then I have the questions. Did plus subject plus verb plus complement. So let's see if we can remember some examples. Right. If I want to write a sentence in the affirmative form, what could be an example that we can make? Tell me one verb. Give me, give me one second. Se me olvidó cargar mi batería. Deme un segundo, si no se me va a apagar la compu. Give me one second. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm back. So, what would be? Eh, deme un verbo. ¿Qué verbo se recuerda? Join. How do you spell that? J. Okay. J. Uh huh. O. O, uh huh. I. I. N. N. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So we're going to say Marielos joined the basketball team last month. Okay. Marielos joined the basketball team last month. So we have the subject, right? We have the verb in past. We're gonna put in this in different colors, right? Verb in past, in this case, is, an, is a regular verb. And then we have the complement. The basketball team last month. The specific time is in the complement. So the specific time will be last month. Small. Right? Okay, very good. Now we are going to use the same sentence. Marielos joined the basketball team last month. Who can tell me what would be the negative form of this example? How can you make the negative form? From Marielos. this sentence, uh -huh. Marielos. Didn't. Didn't. Join. 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 The basketball team last month. The basketball team last month. Okay. Very good. So what's the difference here? Look at this. The verb form. La forma verbal es la diferencia. Right? Ya el verbo ya se queda en la base form. Right? Very good. And now let's make a question. Let's use the same, the same example. The same Marielos, right? Tell me, what would be the uh, question form for this? Did. Did. Marielos. Uh -huh. Join. The basketball team last month. The basketball team last month. 
now. Okay. And then we have here a question, right? Using auxiliary and the verb here in the base form. Let's put here verb in base form, right? So, are, are, are we clear on what we're doing right now? ¿Se entiende lo, lo que vamos trabajando? Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. So since we all understand what we're doing, right? I'm going to send you this, right? But we're going to do another exercise right now, okay? We're going to do another exercise. This exercise is only, only, only with uh, regular verbs, right? It says, team is talking about this weekend. Complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. You say, Ben, it's Silvia, but no nos podemos los verbos en pasado. Right? That's, that's okay. Right? What we're going to do is that on Google, right? On, on Google search, you're going to put, for example, past tense of the state. Miren el chat, lo que les acabo de enviar. Past tense of a stay. A stay is a verb, right? So I need you to Google it right now. Tell me what is the past tense of a stay? De acuerdo a, a, a San Google. What's the past tense of a stay? Okay. Okay. Can you spell that for me, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y... S T A Y uh -huh. E D uh -huh. Y E D. Okay, very good. So that's what we're gonna do, right? We're going to look for the verbs. Ahorita quiero que se familiaricen con los verbos que vamos trabajando con el past tense. First, we start with regular verbs. Solamente los regulares. Right? We're going to do a small exercise with regular verbs. So let's take a look at the exercise again. Let's take a look at this. Look at the verbs here. It says, on Friday night, I waited, right? This is here. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call. But my girlfriend didn't call. Then I have the answer that Dennis gave me. I just stayed home, right? And... I have to answer this too, right? What is the past tense of watch? Watch. watch. Okay, watch. how do you spell that? How do you spell that? W. A. A. T. A. T. C. C. H. H. E. D. E. D. Very good, right? So that's what we have, right? That's what we're gonna do. Y lo mismo vamos a hacer con los siguientes. Is that clear what we're gonna do? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. okay. Our, en estos momentos yes. vamos a ir practicando la pronunciación al mismo tiempo que vamos respondiendo el ejercicio, okay? That's what we're gonna do. So let's just start. Let's just start. I'm going to, esta todavía no se las he enviado, ¿verdad? No. No, not yet. Okay. So let me send you this right now to your WhatsApp messages. And we're going to work right now in groups of, I think we're going to work in groups of three. Okay. We're going to work in groups of three. We're going to finish the activity and we're going to be back in five minutes. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. Let's practice, let's practice. Voy a pasar a cada grupo, preguntarles si tienen preguntas, así que no se preocupen. Let's go, Josué, Lester, Karen, Johnny. Let's join the groups. Stella, Karen. Stella, Lester, Karen, please join the groups.
Hello, do you have a question? No, teacher. No? Are you sure? Los oigo muy calladitos. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so let's get to work. Okay. Si tienen preguntas, ahí escriben al chat para, para ver sus preguntas. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. I'll be back. Okay, vaya, Carla. ¿Quién habla La ahorita? Siguiente es... Yo, William. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> ahora va. Ahora va. Okay. Dennis, ahora tú, Dennis. On Saturday, ajá, ah, cabal. Hay. Que ahí tiene que decir cuál es el verbo que va. Okay, what's the answer? I'm listening. Uh, visit. Visit, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Visit. 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 Ah, ok. B I S T. Okay. Is 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 pero lo vas a decir completo. I visited my Acá. friend Frank. I'm sorry, I visited my friend Frank. Okay. Okay. Is we talk and ese no cambia, sí. Okay. Yeah. Sí cambia. Sí cambia. Um, Which oh. one are you talking about? Mariela. Me? Me is we talked and ah. listening to music uh -huh. in the evening. Okay. I'll listen it. I'll listen it. Bye. It's my turn. In the evening, he invited some friends over and cooked. Again, again, okay. I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. Uh-huh. Okay. Next one. Okay. Es de decirlo todo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just your sentences. No sé cómo han puesto la dinámica ustedes para participar. Ajá. Eh, estamos diciendo la oración eh, todo. Ok. Ok. Go ahead. I just stayed home and watched TV on Saturday. I visited my friend, my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music in the evening. They in, invite some friends over and mm. we caught a great meal. I, I, I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and chopped it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Uh, my turn. <laughs> On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. And we, and we cooked. Cook. Uh, I cook a three meals. Mm -hmm. I. Um, I, sería, I didn't, didn't work. I didn't work very hard, very hard on Sunday. On Sunday, I. I am direct. I didn't work 
pero no, hay direct study. Uh -huh. Line direct study. Uh, at all. Hi, Karen. Disculpa que se, se salió, ¿verdad? Hi, teacher. Sí, sorry. Es que aquí está lloviendo bien fuerte. De repente se puso bien fuerte y como que hubo un, un bajón de electricidad, sí, y de repente se me quedó como cortado, como congelado. Y cuando estaba escribiendo, ¡pum! Me salió. O sea, no escuchaba nada, sino que cortaba, entrecortaba. Bien raro. Ay, no, así pasa cuando está la, la lluvia. Sí, Miren, está bien. Ahorita ya se desconectó Johnny también. Verdad, es que sí, es que está como fluctuando ahorita. Pero es más que el internet y la electricidad, que a veces con los bajones y ahí es donde se desconecta. Yeah, I know it's difficult. But, uh, let's see, let's see the answers, people. Let's see the answers that we have. Right, and let's see here. We're gonna choose one person okay. who wants to participate right now. Me, teacher. Okay, very good, Lester. And I need two more people. Porque vamos a leer por oraciones. We're going to read sentence by sentence. For example, one sentence goes from here to here. Right, desde el inicio hasta el, hasta el period, hasta el punto. Okay, we have Lester. So Lester, can you please start with instructions and uh, please go up to here. Okay. Sam? Timmy, oh, now. Yes. Okay. Timmy is talking about this weekend. Complete the sentences, then compare with, with a partner. Mm -hmm. On Friday night, I waited, waited for a phone call but my girlfriend didn't call. Okay, very good. Now, another person? I guess. Me. Okay, Josue? Science, we, sure. Okay, he says I. I visit my friend, Frank. Mm. No, no, we're not in that part yet. So I know I'm afraid. We're here. I just. Ah. Uh, I just I just stayed home and watched TV on Saturday. And watch TV. Okay, perfect. And watch TV. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Another person. Me. Uh, okay. Okay, um, Mariel. Yes. On Sunday, oh, I visited my friend. On Saturday. On okay. Saturday. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. I visited my friend Frank. Very good. Samuel, let's go. We, we talk and listen to music in the okay. evening. Very good. And listen to music. Okay, listen to, mu to music. Very good. We talk and listen to music. We talk and listen to music. Very good. Let's continue. Let me see who else I have here. Claudia, in the evening. Claudia, no? In the evening. <laughs> In the evening, he, he invites some okay. friends over and we cook a great meal. Very good. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. Very good. Very good. Now let's continue with the last person. Well, two more. Who else? Okay, Mario or Manuel, Manuel. Okay, go ahead, Manuel. 
I I didn't work beer hard on Saturday. Uh, on Sunday. 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 Okay. Sorry. Very good. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. Very good. Continue, Mario. I I didn't study at all. Very good. I didn't study at all. Very good. And Stella. Stella, are you I, there? Yes. I just walk to the mall and shop. And shop. Okay, and, and shop. Very good. I and shop. I walk to a mall and shop. And shop. Very good. Now, this is, these are the answers. The answers are correct, right? Solamente tenemos que ver el spelling de cada uno de los verbos que han, han tenido. Two things in pronunciation, pay attention. In pronunciation, when we have the verb, for example, talk, right? Y tenemos este conjunto de letras, una L y una K, for example, talk and walk. Right? Lo vamos a pronunciar así. Talk, walk, right? Vamos a, a tratar de no pronunciar la L, porque muchas veces decimos talk, walk, right? So it's not going to be like that. Do you know that the, the things that people use, um, I think the cops, the police people, they use some like radios, right? Se llaman walkie-talkies. Ya, lo, ya los han visto. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Para ustedes, cuando ustedes dicen, ah, ando un walkie-talkie, right? Así decimos en español, un walkie-talkie, right? Y el, como se escribe en inglés, es así. Walkie-talkie, right? Si vemos, no decimos walkie-talkie, right? So we have to be very careful with that. Right? Esos son los verbos que hemos estado trabajando durante todo el, el, el módulo. Y siempre se me está olvidando eso, right? These two. Walk, talk, right? Vamos a tratar de, de obviar esa L. Se pronuncia, pero suavecito, y que casi ni se escucha, ¿ok? Very good. Ok. okay. Perfect. So, pero eso es en, 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 en presente en, y en pasado. En todo. En todo. Por ejemplo, si usted dice talked, right, lo que va a hacer es que va, bueno, ya le voy a mostrar aquí la pronunciación ya de un solo. Vamos a ver acá. Aquí les tengo ya listo para la pregunta de Mario. This is, if you can see here, right, estamos hablando solo de verbos regulares ahorita, no estamos metiendo irregulares. We're talking about regulars. This is the way that you're going to spell. This is for writing. Este es para la escritura. Pero la pregunta de Mario va para la pronunciación. Right? Para la pronunciación vamos a ser bien um, uh, estrictos. We're going to pay attention to this. El verbo talk, tenemos tres tipos de pronunciaciones. ED, T, like this. T, and we have the pronunciation like D. Okay? We have it. And the, these are the three types of pronunciations that we have, right? The verb that we just spoke to is talk. En la tabla les estoy mostrando la última letra del de verbo, right? Del verbo así como está, base form. ¿En cuál de los tres, eh, en las tres columnas ustedes posicionarían talk? And the first one? En la segunda. In like this, Second one, very good. In this one, oops, sorry. Look good. Okay, this one, because I have here. Look, I have the K, and I have the K. So the sound will be like, t and that will be the pronunciation when we have ed, right? So I talked to Mario yesterday, right? Hablé con Mario ayer. Right? I talked to Mario yesterday. So that will be the pronunciation, right? The only thing that we're going to do, and look at this. These are two things that are go we're going to pay attention. 
It says voiceless and voice sounds. Two things. If the verb or the word ends with these letters, si su, si su verbo termina con una de estas letras en la forma base form, en la forma sin el cambio, vamos a utilizar este sonido. Right? It's very small. Right? right? But this sound is called voiceless, o sea, que no se escucha. En cambio este, por ejemplo, tenemos... Hold, right? Hold. We're going to have como un sonido de D al final. Hold. ¿Cómo vamos a crear ese sonido? Exactly. Cold. Very good. Very good. Cold. We are going to create that sound by putting the tip of the tongue. We're going to put it behind the teeth. Right? We're going to put the tip of the tongue here. Arribito de, 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 como del paladar de la, de la boca, pero un poquitito. Cold. So cold. we say, exactly. Very good, very good. So you say cold. 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 And then we say cleaned. 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 Offered. Offered. Very good. Offered. Now, if we look at this. Van a decir ustedes, quiero ver, si tengo el video, sí, ¿verdad? Me miro, ok, good. What you're going to do, right, when we have, porque tenemos voiceless and voiced. Voy a decir, pero yo cómo voy a saber si es un voiceless o un voice. Todos los verbos que te vamos a tener así con este ending, right, and we pronounce them, vamos a hacer algo bien sencillo. We're going to put your hand, you're going to put your hand in front of your mouth, okay? So you put your hand like this. And once you speak, you're going to feel like air coming out, right? So you say, helped. Va a salir un poquito de aire de su boca, right? Helped. Looked. Sniffed. Looked. Right? Si no sale aire, no lo está pronunciando yeah. bien. Right? Helped. Exactly. Helped. Right? Looked. Ahora, si, mm. ahora vamos a practicar con el, este sonido. This is a voice sound. With this voice sound, voice sound, la, para que ustedes sepan que están pronunciando la palabra correcta, de una forma correcta, I'm sorry, in a correct way, what you're going to do is that you're going to put these two fingers, you're going to put them on your throat, right here, okay? And you're going to feel, feel like a vibration, like zzz, when you speak. So you have the cold, cleaned, offered, right? Si no sienten... Si no sienten esa pequeña vibración, no yes. lo están pronunciando bien. Ok? But it's very, very soft. Right? Damage. Loved. You said. Right? Loved. You said. Very yes. good. Listened. Very good. Listened. Right? Very good. Y no nos olvidemos de este. Miren este. Este de acá, el ED, right? Or ID. Este es bien sencillo. Todos los que terminen en T or D, right? Por ejemplo, wanted, right? Wanted. Needed. Vamos a hacer como Needed. que agregamos una sílaba más al final. Por ejemplo, si tenemos este verbo, want, right? Wanted. Right? O si tenemos wait, termina en T, waited. 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 Right? Wait. Wait it. Wait it. Right? Wait it. Okay, very good. So Wait. these are pretty much, this is the question that, that Mario has in regards to pronunciation. That's a great question. I like that question because pronunciation for regular verbs is difficult, right? The only way is to practice, 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 right? Okay, so uh, did I answer your question, Mario? Is this clear? Yes. See, si? okay. ¿Me entendió? Si no, le repetimos aquí todo. No hay problema. Ok. So, this is just about pronunciation. Ok. This is pronunciation on uh, regular verbs. Le voy a mandar la versión manchada y la versión no manchada. Ok. So, we can practice. So, we're going to practice mm -hmm. here. 
We're going to practice. No, faltan cinco minutos. Okay. Sorry. What we're going to do, right? We have two practices there, right? In the other practice that I was showing you, right? The other way is, this is for writing. This is for you to write your sentences, right? For this to write your sentences in English, we have like a specific way to do this, right? We have rules that we need to, uh, to use, right? So I'm going to, this picture, you will have the picture on your phone. There's no problem. But I want you to pay attention. Y va a ser lo mismo. Vamos a trabajar con el final de, la, de los verbos. Pero estamos hablando de los verbos en su forma base, no con cambios, sino que en su forma base. Para cambiar el verbo, por ejemplo, yo tengo acá el verbo live, right? I live in San Salvador, right? Eso puedo decir, I live in San Salvador. Pero yo quiero decir eso ya en pasado, right? I lived in San Salvador last month. Entonces, el verbo que termina ending in E, right? Like live, you are going to add D. If you have a, a verb that ends in a vowel plus Y, que termina en una vocal más Y, what you're going to do is that you're going to add ED. That's what we do, right? If you have an ending verb with consonant plus Y, consonant plus Y, you delete, you delete here the Y. Aquí quitamos la Y, fíjense los dos verbos ejemplo. Y agregamos I e D, right? Y luego tenemos los verbos que son de una sílaba o dos sílabas, right? If we have one syllable verb, like not, we have not it. In the example that I gave you, we have this verb. If you notice here in the paragraph, you have shop, right? That's what you have in the base form. But then you change it to shop. So that was a one syllable single verb. Right. Cuando tenemos este tipo de verbos, lo que hacemos es que duplicamos la última letra, la última consonante, right, y agregamos ed. Entonces ya no va a ser de una sílaba, de que se va a ser más largo. Right. That's what we do. Right. And then we have two syllable verbs, right? Then we do the same thing, right? Hacemos la, lo mismo que hicimos acá, hacemos en este otro. Pero en esta nos enfocamos más en la forma en la que pronunciamos el verbo. Right? Entonces, eso es como para un, un, un general information. Mañana, tomorrow, we are going to practice. We're going to have more verbs. Right? We're going, uh, I'm going to try to give you uh, más información de los verbos. Y más, obviamente, más ejercicio, ¿verdad? Ya los ejercicios, como ustedes pueden ver, ya están listos porque nos divertamos hoy, mañana y pasado. Right. We have the verbs that are uh, ready here. Everything is going to be about past. Right. Look at this. We have a lot of exercises that we're going to use about a uh, simple past that I need you to, to practice with me. Right. But right now, we're going to stick to this. Quiero que solamente lean el, la, la imagen de pronunciación y la imagen de, de cómo se escriben los verbos regulares. Traten de buscar un verbo o dos verbos por cada una de las reglas que van poniendo. Como ejemplo, así utilizamos esos verbos mañana en la práctica. ¿Ok? La pronunciación, esa pronunciación que yo les estoy dando es la misma pronunciación que está en en el sitio web, para que no nos confundamos. Es lo mismo. Right? It's the same pronunciation. Right? Aquí solo es como que está en una tablita más, más amplia, pero es la misma pronunciación que tenemos en la sección 4. ¿Está that clear? Yes. Yes. Ok. Yes, yes, sure. Ok. Perfect. Yes, yo, sure. yo sé que esta yes, vez eh, casi solo yo hablé, pero I need to explain, right? So we can practice. Necesito explicarles qué es lo que vamos a hacer, así que mañana practicamos. Right? Porque solo una práctica tuvimos. But we have a lot of practice to do tomorrow. Do you have a question about what we did today? No? No. No, teacher. 
Okay, me okay. queda me queda un minuto, así que yo le voy a preguntar. Uh, tell me, please, um, Rodrigo, what is the positive or the affirmative formula for simple past? Rodrigo? Subject. Subject? Uh, what else? Very in the past. Very in past, okay. Compliment. Compliment. And compliment. Very good. Dennis, tell us the negative form. Subject. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Yeah. Very in the present. Okay. Compliment. In compliment, okay. Verb in base form mm -hmm. in compliment. Very good. Josue, what are the two type of verbs that we use in simple past? <laughs> He's sleeping, okay. Regular and irregular verbs? Regular and irregular verbs, Canon. Very good. Regular and irregular verbs. Mario, how do you make a question in simple past? Uh, did, did you run in the park yesterday? Perfect. Did you run in the park yesterday? Very good, right? So that's what we have, right? That's what we have, we have done today. Es como para que nos recordemos lo que hemos trabajado hoy, right? This is what we have done. We are going to use this information to practice tomorrow, okay? Okay, Very teacher. good. Okay, Perfect. Okay. Solo se recuerden los que tienen preguntas acerca del, del correo que les envió administración, enviarme un, un WhatsApp y eso se les va, se lo, lo, así los puedo comunicar con Jonathan, el administrador, para que les dé más información al respecto. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfecto. Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Sí, diga? Este, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Hasta ahorita. Okay, Manuel. Uh, I'm going to put my cell phone number here on the chat. Manuel, please copy this quickly. Right? It's very easy. So you can send me a message. Okay? Very good. Ahí le puse el número en el chat para que lo copie. Okay? Very good. Any more questions, guys? Any more? No, teacher. No? No more? Okay. No, teacher. No more. Have a beautiful night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. teacher. Bye, bye. 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 Manuel, copy the number, por favor. Ya lo copió. Sí, ya. Jorge, casi no practicó hoy. Jorge. Okay. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. <laughs>